What is up and welcome back to the channel. Today guys, we're doing chest with only two exercises. Let's get into it. Okay, starting this exercise off, we're gonna start off with doing pec deck or you can do cable flies or you can do dumbbell flies. Whatever you have, you can do what you have. Now, how are we gonna do this? We're gonna do mile match reps to set the tone for the workout. This is not a pre-exhaust, this is part of the workout. We are going to tax the shit out of our chest so then we head over to the next exercise, which is, which is gonna be incline sweep the sheen. You're not gonna be able to load the thing as much, and guess what? Your chest is already be primed and ready to get demolished even more in the best optimal way. So, how do you do mile match reps? Basically, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the first set to failure. However many reps that you get, let's just say you get 20 reps. That's the set you have to get the next set when you do it. Now, the next set's gonna look like this. You'll probably get the 10 and gas out. You're gonna take like a 10 second break, let your body cool down a bit, and then you're gonna do as many reps as you can again till you get to 20 reps. And we're gonna do this four sets. We're gonna do four sets of this, four sets of incline, and that's eight total sets that are gonna absolutely annihilate your chest. So I'm gonna show you exactly the tempo I want for your first set. Okay, so let's set this thing up. Actually guys, down far enough. I wanna make sure that when I grab the handles, they're sitting at my chest height. I don't want them down here, so we're doing this. I don't need them up here, so we're doing this. I need them to be right across, so that when I do my actual set. So from floor to core, feet are gonna be a little bit underneath the knees, your butt's gonna be back at this bench, your chest, your back is gonna be flat on the bench. I wanna start from here. You're gonna push yourself back, arms are gonna be straight. Then we're gonna open up, 1,001, 1,002, stretch, Chest is up, elbows are behind, and then pressing forward, squeeze, back again. Again guys, when we're coming back, opening the elbows up, bending them back a bit, get a nice stretch, chest up, pushing forward, and arms are gonna be straight at the end. We don't wanna finish like this. Finish, push out here, behind, again. Now, that's not failure for me, but it will be failure for you when you do that. We're gonna do your next set. You're gonna wait two minutes, rest, do your next set, do as many reps as you can consecutively until you can't do any more. That might be 10, that might be 15, could even be six. But if whatever you get, you're gonna take a little break and then do it again until you get the maximum of sets to match the first failing set that you did. We're doing four sets of that before we get into incline Smith machine press. Okay, so next exercise guys, we have incline Smith machine. Now, if you don't have a Smith machine available, if you have an incline machine or even incline dumbbells, you can do it as well too. Only caveat with this one is we're doing four rest pause sets. Now, what's the difference between a rest pause and a mile match? Well, the mile match we already did, a rest pause is basically, we're gonna take that set to failure and then we're gonna rest for a couple seconds, just like before, 10 to 15 seconds, and then we're gonna do as many reps as we can after that set and that's it. Now, doing those rest pause reps, it doesn't mean that we speed the reps up. It means that everything stays exactly the same. We're just giving ourselves a little bit of a mini break just to elongate the set and cause more tension to the muscle, creating a lot more hypertrophy to the chest. So let's get into it. Okay, so guys, we have this thing set up at a 30 degree incline. Now, only two exercises can hit the entire chest. Why? Well, number one, everything's gonna work together. Now doing incline, there's actually studies shown that at an incline 30, 45 degree, the bottom of the chest, the under chest, the pec major gets just as much work done in an incline than actually flat bench. So don't worry if you guys are wondering if you're supposed to do a lower chest movement in these two exercises. We only need to do flies and 30 degree incline and we've hit the entire chest. Plus, let's be serious, most of us need an upper chest. So again, guys, we're doing rest pause sets here. What it looks like is taking the first set, 10 to 15 reps. We wanna reach close to failure 
or even failure. And then we're gonna take about 10 to 15 second breather and then get right back at it and do as many reps as you can about the same tempo, the same range of motion. So here's what your set's gonna look like. All right, let's get those feet a little bit underneath the heels and make sure our butt doesn't come off the bench. Butt's in the back of the seat. I'm gonna grab a little bit outside. So here's shoulder part, a little bit outside shoulder width. Shoulders back away from the ears, chest up nice and tall. We can go suicide grip if you want to or just underneath here and then down for a thousand one, thousand two, stretch, push. I wanna keep constant tension the entire time. So, thousand one, thousand two, stretch up and back down. Now, this is obviously not a hard set for me, but just giving you guys an idea of what your tempo, your range of motion should look like. And I'll tell you right now, guys, stay true to that and your chest will feel blowed up. I've only literally done two exercises, one set of each, and my chest already feels like it's already swelling up. You follow this, and I promise you guys, you'll probably end up doing two chest exercises for the rest of your life. All right guys, that is it for today's video, guys. Let me know if you give this workout a try in the comment section below. Let me know what other videos you want me to do in the comment section below. And I guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you didn't, make sure you guys like, subscribe, and share. You know, I'm gonna come up with that title, it is Transparent Vulnerable Truth, and for coaching, johnashi.com. If you wanna know more about my coaching, guys, book yourself a one hour video consult with myself. We talk about training, nutrition, supplementation, even mental health, and in the consult, I deduct 100 bucks off any package that you pick. And anyway, guys, until next time, you know it is Iron Chef is Iron, progress, overload your life. In the meantime, Keep dream chasing. Peace.